This is what we do. Nate, in your state. It's the uh, bus terminal to go to Paco. Let's see how this goes. I didn't get my ticket yet. Let's go. This is the bus terminal. If you want to go to any other country, guys, you can just hit this up and you're good to go. I kid you not. Go to El Salvador. You can go to Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua. I might do that trip to Nicaragua. I'm not too sure. I might do it. And here's a spoiler. I've already did that trip and documented. Stay tuned to my channel for the border crossing process from Costa Rica into Nicaragua. How much is it going to cost? The challenges that I faced. And yeah, let's get back to the video. But um, I'm going to the beach, y'all. Uh, and it leaves at, it leaves at um, 12 noon. So while I'm waiting, this is my ticket here in Terminal um, Siete y Des, 710. While I'm waiting here at this terminal, I'm just gonna probably explore a little bit. There was an upstairs area, but it's it's there no more. I don't know what happened here. This looks pretty barren. But yeah, I got my ticket, and I'm gonna be there. It takes like a two-hour trip to get there. You know what I'm saying? So while I'm waiting, uh, it's a very small terminal. So while I'm waiting, you guys can see what they got. It's it's not much. It's definitely not much, but. Hey man, I'm just letting you know where you guys go. And it's gonna cost you 3,100, pretty much 3,180, 3,180 colones if you would like to travel. See, if you wanna go to Nicaragua, it's over there. And if you want food, you can go over there too. It smells really nice. I'm thinking about it. There's a whole lot of Nicaragua buses. So it's like giving me vibes that maybe I should go. And I'm guessing like once they call you, cause mine and my bus is leaving at noon, once they call you, then yeah, we just hop on and we're ready to go. But I think we gotta pay for the bathrooms or whatever have you. But yeah, man, this is where I'm at. It's gotten smaller. There was a second floor, but I mean, hey, I don't see no lights or anything, so it is what it is. That's how we doing it today. You know what I'm saying? Whole adventure, man. It's always a name in your state where we get ourselves in a, in a whole adventure. Right? Okay, guys, let's get into the question. What is a Hako Beach? Why should you care? Hako Beach is a popular beach town located on the Pacific coast of Costa Rica. It's known for its vibrant nightlife, surfing, and stunning natural beauty. So here's what you need to know before you visit. One, beach and surfing. Hako Beach is a surfer's paradise with waves that attract surfers from all over Costa Rica and the world as well. The beach is fringed with palm trees and has warm rolling waves, but be cautious of the strong undertow. Nightlife. Hako Beach's bars come alive with music and dancing after sundown, making it a great spot for those looking for a lively atmosphere. Safety. With some common sense, Hako Beach is generally considered safe, but it's best to avoid going to the beach at night and swimming in the ocean after dark. So here are some things to do. It is a beach town, so you know that it's known for surfing. So in addition to surfing, you can take surfing lessons, you can ride a horse along the coast, or you can visit nearby shops and restaurants. For those adventure seekers out there, there are plenty of activities to choose from, including zip lining, ATV tours, and one that I did that's going to be in the next video succeeding this video. Accommodations. So Hako has a range of accommodations from budget-friendly options to luxury resorts like Crocs Resort and Cocino. You could also go to Cocal, but I say Cocal is more of a location for the single adult male. 
but these places which offer five star amenities and stunning views of the beach. So here's a couple of tips to take away from. Visit between December and April for ideal beach weather. It's not raining, this is the slow down dry season, you'll be chilling. So be prepared for the strong under towels and swimming currents. You don't wanna be sucked into the ocean. Three. Have fun, man. Take a surf lesson, horseback riding, do whatever you want over there. Just be respectful to the people over there. Four, enjoy nearby beaches such as like Playa Hermosa for more surfing and relaxation. So overall, I recommend it to you guys. Hako Beach is a must visit destination for those just looking for a vibrant beach town experience in Costa Rica. And for those who know me from the Columbia space and for those who understand what could happen in Cartagena, you will have peace of mind here as they don't beg you they don't hustle you down over here so like i said earlier with some common sense you should be good over here right you will actually have time to enjoy yourself at the beach and enjoy some peace of mind oh before i forget here's another tip when you're buying the tickets you can buy it from the website which i'm going to post in the description below it's generally cheaper to buy it online than buying it in person in person will cost you 3180 colones which if you do the usd currency conversion and move the decimal places three spaces back by doubling it you should get about six dollars and seven cents versus if you buy a tickets online it should cost you five dollars and 61 cents during the recording of this video which is a 40 cent difference so it's cheaper to take the bus to get there than just going straight from the airport, paying a local taxi or a transportation service, which could cost you 80 to $100 to get down there. But I'm a minimalist. I am a budget traveler, so it's not a problem for me. And I know other people got the means for that. But that's just an option for those that are backpackers and minimalists like myself. So yeah. So. Let's get on with this video so you can see more of the town. And yeah, hopefully you guys like this. And once again, if you guys like my stuff, consider dropping a like on this video. Even if you don't want to, man, just, you know, let me know what you think. If you don't feel like subscribing, that's cool too. Just let me know what you think. And let's get on with this video. All right. What's going on, y'all? This is Nate from Nate Mill State. Back at you with yet another video. I'm at the most southernmost part. Well, I wouldn't say the most southernmost part, but I'm in Hako, all right? We're here in Hako, in the area of Hako Beach, man. First time here. And I'm let me tell you, man, I'm not prepared. Well, I'm prepared, but not prepared. Because, yo, I was in San Jose, and the weather was, like, mild, bro. It was, like, 70 degrees, man, all year round. Feels like 70 degrees all year round, right? Wasn't hot at all. The second I stepped here, yo, I feel that heat. I feel that heat, man. I feel that grip. Well, I'm not gonna say Caribbean because it's the other end, right? It's not the Caribbean, but I feel that sea, man. Oh my gosh, man. It's warm as heck over here. So I'm gonna go to my BNB, drop my stuff off, pull out the camera, get ready to record. I gotta change my clothes because I'm gonna be hella hot in this, this attire, man. This is not, it ain't gonna work out. So I gotta change my clothes. All right. So, here we are, Hako Beach, first time here, and yeah, alright, we'll talk later on, peace. Early morning things, well not quite early morning, but good morning y'all. Yeah. So I'm here in Hako, I am going to the Hako Beach, and I just passed the first uh, security checkpoint. I had nothing to do with it, they just checking other people, I just wanted to say hello to the gentleman there, because I don't know how they'll behave. There's some nice shops over here. We got horses. I'm not sure if they're wild, but they're caged in. Got horses over here. I believe they do horseback riding, if you can see the horses. They do horseback riding here in Hanko as part of an excursion here. Daytime. I said before, Hanko daytime, great for families, in my honest opinion. Just nighttime tends to be more for, like, adult where the adults come out to hang out for like what clubs or whatever have you um dating and all that stuff but daytime oh my gosh seen a whole lot of families here just uh, i wanted to spend this day to really get to the beach because i came late man my bus was mad late and came in late so i didn't really get to do anything besides to eat and feel how hot it is over here, man. Let me tell you today's weather. My gosh, it is 
Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can get this right. All right, it is 10 a.m., 10.14 a.m. with 85 and cloudy. It may rain sometime around 4 o'clock, they say, but I don't know. We'll all have to find out together. And, yeah, hopefully I can pop this drone up so you guys can see. Oh, look, papayas. Papaya. I thought those were coconut, but that's papaya. Definitely is not mango. Too fat for it to be mango is definitely papaya. Got a whole lot of ants on it. Sheesh. All right. This no, this is not papaya. That's a different fruit. Excuse me. I don't know what fruit that is. Because it leaves. This doesn't look like a papaya. Anywho. Yes, yeah, so this is the beach. Nice. Maybe I can get my feet wet. Found an entrance. And I mean if I'm not troubled, I can probably fly my drone. Hopefully I can fly my drone. I don't know if that's a guard or what the story is. But man, they look at the horses. Yeah, he's looking at me. But yeah, um, so let's see. We are on the beach. The beach. Oh, look at that view. Yesterday was really sunny, but there is some slight overcasts today. Just slightly. You see that, man? Look, look, look. We're gonna step and you guys gonna see what I see. <laughs> All right, yeah. Look at that, man. Nice. <laughs> this is gonna get some people jealous. The beach of the beach. Beach of the beach in the walk area. Man, this is dope. Benvenidos a Playa Aco. Welcome to Aco Beach, the municipality of Garabito. All right, so according to what I see, it does not prohibit drone flying. So I guess we can fly drones as we are going. Hey, <laughs> all right, you see that? I love that view, man. I don't know, man. I need to get a portrait of these stuff, man. Like, come on. Look how nice that looks, man. See how awesome this is? Wait, hold on. A little too zoomed out. Man. Come on, man. We got to fly it. <laughs> All right, let me find like a nice area that I can scoop up. Sand is fine. I got my Goku slippers, but yeah, we gonna fly this thing. Holy smokes. But I like the view there, and I also like the view back there. We are covered in just green and jungle, and it makes it feel like I am in a tropical area, which man, wouldn't be, I wouldn't trade this for the world, man. Views that you don't get to see every day in New York City, man. You just see nothing but skyscrapers, busted up buildings and people acting a fool we just got people just chilling oh look i gotta go check that sign i know this is a sign of something we have to see in the front a lot of us look familiar i think i think uh youtuber check was over here walking the strip walking the beach playa Haco. i wish i can get my picture taken but i'm i'm here solo dolo all right if you saw all that i didn't get bothered which is also a good thing uh the waves are amazing here uh Haco beach Costa Rica look at them fold on itself man they got some nice waves from what it seems like and it seems like you have to walk away to actually get into the water because you can see even when you get to where the water lines up into the sand you're nowhere and the further out you go it's still like toes deep so you see where the waves are folding over itself I would recommend, hey, look, if you want some waves or if you want to go catch a swim, that will be for you. But I was saying that this spot is family friendly. I, I had to uh, put all my equipment together. There were sketchy looking boys. Two of them pulled up in my direction while I was flying the drone and we wasn't having it. I already knew what time it was. Grab my backpack, grab this while I was still manning the drone. Look, the drone catches everything while I was still manning the drone. Once I did that and I moved forward and started flying the drone, yo, they instantly just turned around and went another way, which led me to believe that they was coming my direction and probably they had some malicious tendencies and it's, it's sad to say that. 
But hey, man, of course, you always got to stay safe when you're in these locations. Anywhere when you're by yourself. I even will say the same in New York City because there is a lot more people up in Brenton Beach, Coney Island or Orchid Beach. You know what I'm saying? You leave your stuff unattended, people's going to take advantage. That is the name of the game in Colombia. No dar papaya. Here, I don't know what the saying is. Just watch your back. A little quiet today, Sunday. You know what I'm saying? 85 degrees and chilling. People's out and about playing. Uh, I think the water is nice. I can do a test for y'all. So it's 85 degrees. I'm assuming it's the salt water, right? Aco, beach, water. With some nice colored stones. If you guys are a stone collector, I know my mom is, but if you're a stone collector, there is nice, colorful looking rocks here. Views is oh, nice. It feels nice. It feels amazing. It's warm, not frigidly cold. It's like in between y'all, but I'm pretty sure all of this is salt as it splashed on me. Ah. Yeah, it is salt. 100% salt. So this is something that you don't want to drink. <laughs> As if you guys are going to drink the salt water. I don't know what type of time you guys are on. <laughs> so, in the morning time, let's go head out onto the strip. Daytime, I don't know what that looks like during the day. Our Sunday, matter of fact. I'm not sure if everybody's closed. But, we shall see. I thought the bus station was closed today. And I figured I said, okay, it's Sunday. They're observing the Sabbath. So, maybe I thought it was closed. But it just turns out that I was in the wrong location that day. And because of that, security guard let me know what was up. And hold on. And oh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, because security let me know what's up, and then I was able to rectify that. Oh, this is bad. This is why I shouldn't have went into the water. Forgot. I'm gonna have sandy feet. And there's no way for me to uh, rinse it off unless you know I walk it. I'm pretty sure taxis are gonna hate me. But um, I think I can dry my foot off here in the grass. See? I can probably dust off here and then keep it moving. So I am near my Airbnb. I wanted the restaurants here. Lunch special is, I think it was 3125. 3125 colones. Really good deal for a lunch plate that comes with a drink, right? And you get like three things, four things pretty much. Piece of chicken, rice, beans whatever have you they have pasta and all the other stuff though but i say yo give me the chicken man i'm hungry today give me the chicken so we definitely had to do that you feel me oh this is some live chicken i just see the chicken running around here man but there's something unique about the flavor of the chicken that i have here You know what I'm saying? I mean, the beans, the beans are all right. The beans can use some salt, but the chicken's on par, on point. It's fire chicken. Comes with a drink too. I think this is sour slap guanabana lemonade, bro. Slaps hard. I think over there, they had ice tea and like some fruit punch thingy. This slaps the best. We are for a walk shopping oh the, the grass the grass is spiky shopping center as i'm taking a quick breather before i do this walk so i'm here i'm going to show you the afternoon vibes here maybe i can get myself more talking fluid as we are commencing this journey it's been a real hot day and i know i'm going to sleep really good when i get on that ac i would like something nice and refreshing this is what they have Oh, Garfield. I haven't seen Garfield in a while. It's PS5, so the market sell. So this will be a good spot to get like games or whatever have you. Definitely check it out for your children. Oh. Um, I'm not sure what else is the stairs. So there's an upstairs here. There is an upstairs, a fish market. I love seafood, especially that we're on the beach coast. Yeah, seafood goes a long way. Hako Royale, I think that's casino. Maybe, I'm not too sure. Uh, there's a fitness studio and I see, this must be a pharmacy because I see carbon chains, like chemistry. Oh, the bathrooms are free. We love to see those. Authentic Indian food, Hola India. It's a very small plaza. 
for the shopping mall. Can I exit through this way? We shall see. All right, bagel boys in the India. I think you can check it out if you're into Indian food. All the good stuff. Liberty is here. I think this is an ATM, maybe. Oh, guys, I need talking fluid. Remember, talking fluid is water. I can get some more talking fluid. This video can commence. There's a Tex-Mex here as well. Interesting. I think that's pretty cool to have Tex-Mex. Alright, so after this loop around, guys, I'm uh, we just gonna go head on the street. We don't have a lot of time anyway. So we're just gonna head towards the bus station now. Hopefully I can find some water along the way. ATV and scooter rentals for Hako. You need to know that for the future. Cool. Oh, there's more to the mall, so you can walk underneath. But I'm a tall dude, so let's see. If it's going to hit my head, then we already know that I'm not meant for this. Is it? Is it? I'm meant for it. Nice. I like that. I like that a lot. I thought it was going to hit me in the face. But with some good aesthetics, yes. Horseback riding. You can do that on the beach, so it's also a beautiful thing to do. Uh, do I have more time? We could explore a little bit more. Hola, hola. They're leaving me alone. It's okay. Uh, shopping mall. Shark. I'm not sure if I've seen a shark here yet, but I think there is. Hey, I've seen monkeys, so you just never know, right? And I think it's, uh, what, chilly, chill and relax at this moment? Colombian Bakery, Colombian Bakery, Costa Rica coffee. Just giving you guys a heads up if you want some of the Costa Rican coffee. And the Lone Star is over here with the other seafood spot. I wish I would have seen this earlier. I would have pulled up here. Ice cream. And then more areas to chill. Not gonna go too deep because I think that is a kids playing center. After that, well, that's on you guys because there is ice cream here. Ice cream, children, families. I'm telling you, this is my honest opinion. This opinion, first impressions. I get a nice family vibe, family feeling when I'm here in Hapo during the daytime. I definitely recommend for families if you want a beach vacation and you're here in Costa Rica. It is one of the most well known and the easiest to get to while you're here. Just a heads up, all right? And I love this thing. I, I like this. Right? You go underneath it. Beautiful aesthetic. Cannot go wrong. Hola. No tengo ni... Ah, estoy lleno. No quiero, no quiero, no quiero comer más. Which is what? All right. Um, I need talking fluid because I am messing up my Spanish. Talking fluid helps me enunciate my Spanish vocabulary. A little better. It's a hot day. I did a nice hike and we're still on the move. So, like I say, I see a lot of couples, a lot of families. It is, it is a pretty chill vibe during the day. It is hot because, you know, hot runs on hot. You know what I'm saying? So, make sure you wear something comfortable so that way you don't overheat like how I'm getting too hot. Yes, granted, I had the hat on me, but if I can find some ice to grab, you know, get my body temperature down a little faster. I had to abruptly pause that because of copyright music. I want this video to be a little wholesome, so that's why I'm trying to pause or probably might edit through these videos regardless of what's going on, or whatever is going on. So, ATV, scooter rentals, you see that here? Pharmacy and the goodies is here. The barbershop, it makes it look like they do a heck of a good job. If you look at that, ah, uh, chicken spot. Way too full for a chicken spot, but you know, I could use some water, some talking fluid as I see the supermarket approaching. <laughs> water is on the way. Talking fluid. 
Yeah, see? This is a family-friendly spot. I feel completely safe here during the daytime. The nighttime, I beg to differ, but the daytime is real trustworthy. All right, yeah, as we continue, I got myself a large vowel of speaking fluid, talking fluid. Ice and cold as we are here on the street. How cold during the daytime with lots of friends and family out on the streets. This is relatively a good vibe, as I say, in the daytime. So, hey, if you're here with your family, I say you're good up until 8 p.m. My honest opinion, first impressions, okay? I like it during the daytime, especially when you're on the beach. I like it. Nighttime is a whole different animal. Not for me, but if you have someone to enjoy the day with, relatively fun. An ice cream spot. It's good to have ice cream when, you know, the weather is overly hot, like days like today. <laughs> and then you have a burger spot. Don't forget, if you like burgers, this would be your spot. So I'm approaching another ice cream spot that I like. Pops, pretty good for the most part. Go on, brother. Pretty legit. It's a safe spot. It's nice and cool. And there, so if you're trying to hang out during the day, that is a safety zone. So heads up. I'm not sure about the other spots down here, if they are still just as safe, but who knows. Vindi, interesting. I get 7-Eleven vibes, Wawa vibes, maybe. I'm not sure, it's a convenience store, nevertheless. Up to you guys if you wanna go eat at Vendi. There is a ton of restaurants as well as Sal salon souvenirs good stuff that if you want to buy you know it is a tourist attraction Hold on. as we have pizza and a load of delivery bikes here as well see family friendly ain't that nice it is completely innocent during the daytime my honest opinion my honest observation I just know that the sun is beating my chops as it is relatively warm and I have yet to drink some of my talking fluid. But we're still on the move. Once I find a place to like post up or whatever have you, drink some water and continue speaking. Which I probably might do right now. Okay. As we continue, Costa Rica, Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Pura Vida with the goodies. <sighs> Alcohol store. I think I might be better off walking over there. I think there might be a little bit more shade over there. I think you can go to the beach this way if you was to walk towards the beach. More market, good stuff. Yeah, guys, I'm really feeling it today in terms of heat. I got to see some monkeys already, so yeah, they're here. They're here in Hako. All the excursions. There's a turtle island here? Wow, I need to go over there. One of these days, though. But, um,. I never knew that. All right, we want to flip it off. All right, give me one second as I cross, all right? Okay, the pizza corners, as you have them, guys. The mini market over there. Oceanside Reality, I'm not sure what Oceanside is, but they hear ya. One dollar massage, man, hold on. Don't get me started. Okay, as I think I might be getting ready to cross the street because I need some shade just a little bit as long as we continue further down. All right, we are almost there. Pizza, 
I have yet to try Costa Rican pizza. Wow, these guys are baiting in that. I'm not too sure the quality of the water, but hey, you can see it over there. I don't see anybody in it, but I think I saw an alligator one of these days. Not sure if the alligators are still there. As we continue along the strips, as the stores open during the daytime, it is quite a good sight. A nice, beautiful sight. Oh, there's dental care here. I wish I would have knew it earlier. Would have loved to get a cleaning. Yeah, this side is the plus side. It has shade. The right side doesn't have it, so you'll just definitely be burning. Oh, that looks nice. Interesting. I'm going to take a quick intermission. Be right back. Nate, in your state. 